as in the previous video we saw the implementation of if and else now we are going to add multiple conditions which are relevant to the if statement so if i want to add the relevant conditions means condition after condition which are related to each other then you can go for the else if so basically putting this else if is not required is not mandatory similarly using else keyword is also not mandatory but they will come only after the if if required so here i will use one condition and any code which will be executed when this given condition is true if it is true this part will get executed and then it will be terminated means none of the things will be executed but if this first condition will return a false then the next condition will be checked as here it is else if means it will only be compared on the uh, in on the failure of this comparison similarly if this condition is true this particular part will be executed but if all the conditions you can put as many as else if you want but at the end if required you can put the else and it will be executed only when all the given conditions are false so let's see practically how can we start working with this chain of conditions using else ifs all right so here if i want to check multiple conditions i have implemented else ifs here so let's see what is all there so first of all i have asked the percentage from the user according to the percentage i'm going to assign a grade to him so if your percentage is between 80 and 100 then in that case i have put grade a so it's a complex statement like uh, first of all the comparisons will be done and since this is and operator so both conditions must be true if it is true then print f grade a all right so grade a will be printed and then after none of the statement will be compared the program will be terminated by this return zero but in case this is this condition is false then we will jump to the next condition so again this comparison will be made like if the percentage is greater than or equal to 60 and percent is less than 80 then grade b in that case again if this particular condition is true then none of the condition will be compared after this so you can put as many as else, else ifs but each else if will check like if the previous conditions are false only then it will be executed similarly here you can see there's one more condition if the percentage between 40 and 60 so grade c and after that if your percentage is even less than 40 then in else i haven't put i will never put any condition in else else will be executed whenever all the previous conditions in this chain is false so in that case it will be grade d so let's execute and see like if i will enter suppose 86 percent then grade a if i will enter any percentage between 60 and 80 let's say 75 then at that case grade b again if i'll enter percent 50 then grade c and if there is something less than 40 let's say 32 percent then it's grade d so this is how this program will work and as i said you can put as many as else ifs you want in this chain 